And for the last time tonight, I say to you, what's going on, people? So, here's the thing, right? This is it. Video number, what, nine or something? Eight? I don't even know. I feel like nine is right. Yeah, this, this one's got a lot of crap, but I'm going to get through it right after I tell you about sneaker hearts, of course, because you probably haven't heard of them before, right? Unless you've seen this shirt, unless you're paying attention to this shirt here. So, sometimes there are people that aren't quite as fortunate as everybody else, right? And need just a little bit of help. So, people jump in and they help them, right? Some people give food to people, some people give shelter to people, some people put shoes on feet. These guys, sneaker hearts, they do the latter part. They put the shoes on the feet, right? So that's a good thing because if you've never, if you've ever been in a situation where you like didn't have shoes and you're like walking around barefoot, I mean, I assume that it sucks. I don't even like doing it around the house because it just feels weird. So I would assume if you don't have any at all and you like are outside, like, it's a, it's a sad time. And then make sure that doesn't happen. Also, if you happen to just need some stuff for like, you know, your school or whatever, they, they tend to help out there. They make it really easy to donate to people if you have like some organization that you're a part of like you know your workplace or whatever they can like bring these little boxes to you you can like have people donate shoes and they'll come pick it up later you know they got a lot of stuff going on and if you don't want to do all that i'm sure they're more than willing to have you go over to their warehouse and help them just kind of package things up for deliveries and stuff it's not a it's not like they've got this t to where they don't need anybody else's help because that's the way things work. Like you get the help from people so that you know, you can continue helping the other people, right? Anyways, go ahead. Links are down below, whatever in the description, check them out because I think that it's worth it. If it wasn't worth it, I wouldn't have said that nine times today. Well, technically 18 because beginning and end of the video. Anyways, so here we are people. This is it. This is the last, Air Max Day video I am doing. Man, this has been a lot of talking on my end, right? I'll have to, I'll do the math later, but I'm, I'm curious what it all adds up to. Probably just like an hour, hour and a half-ish, something like that. Hour and, I don't know, maybe like hour 15, right? But either way, it's a lot of, a lot of talking to do. So, no, we're not starting there. What, where we are going to start? Where are we going to start? Right here. Even though these aren't first, they're going to be first today. The Vapor Max Utility, right? This is not like a light silver and blue kind of color. Very, very underrated in my opinion. Not just the color, but the shoe overall, right? And you look at that pair, this pair, right? Also very nice in my opinion, but that's, you know, me. I would say that since I did buy them. And then this pair, this was the first pair I bought. Like, these are great all around, you know what I'm saying? Like. And you can wear them even outside like the winter weather or the rain or whatever it's just that that's when they're best because they got that whole water resistant thing going on so that way it'll kind of keep your feet from getting wet and if you want to still run outside you're able to do that because these are pretty decent running shoes they got the 3m too so people will see you at night you know what i mean so all in all good stuff right here so go ahead check out a pair they do have the newer pairs the 2019 utilities visually yeah anyways so this is where it all started for me as far as vapor maxes go though this right here the dusty cactus right i also have the 270s so i've got the whole dusty cacti set but anyway so these right here vapor max 2s really nice really nice they have a pretty lengthy break-in period but what can you do you know what i mean like you just gotta wear them and from what I've noticed, even if you break them in, if you don't wear them for a while, they do kind of feel stiff again later. So if you're going to run in them, this is what I learned from my little running test a while ago, wear them for a bit first. You know, maybe wear them, go do some errands or something, and then get to the track. Because if you just put them on and go to the track, they're going to feel a little, eh. But they're still going to feel good, just not, a, not as good as they could. So these right here, the Spider-Mans, right? What is this? Some kind of red and blue orbit? forget what they call that or no red orbit and obsidian whatever it's blue and red spider-man is what people call these in some circles right i don't really see the whole spider-man vibe because these look a little too close to that solar red for me to like put them in that category but whatever they, regardless of what you want to call them they look nice and these these right here the gun smokes 
not yeah I, I can say that these are definitely not my number one vapor max but they're still really good looking all of them in my opinion are really good looking it's just hard to say what that number one would be but these right here definitely definitely glad i got them very glad i really like the way that pink is on there you know what i'm saying with like the rest of this nike puts this every so often like i said they'll make a lot of colors that look garbagey but they'll throw some other stuff together that i wouldn't have expected to see together and it will look really good and this is one of those times i mean if you agree or not you know again comments down below are very welcome i don't care if you agree with me right sometimes it's nice when people don't agree with me because then you can have like a conversation and you can like get some insight on how some other people see some things but you know that's just me i like to i like to talk to everybody though i guess right now you're not supposed to or something but we're online and stuff so it's okay right here the volts i bought these from a finish line i went in there I was like, hey, do you have these in my, in my size, nine and a half, nine, whatever? And they're like, no. I'm like, oh, but we can order them. It's like, what? Yeah, and you, I see you got the discount thing. So yeah, we'll put that on there too. We can have them shipped straight to your house. I'm like, this is even better. So I was able to get these for whatever price, right? So there's that. There's that. Very, very nice. Like, I almost don't like wearing these because I want them to stay like nice and bright. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I could just clean them. I mean, that's an option. But I want to just, like, not have to do that. But whatever. And these, these. This is a pair that will never get old. Like, every time I look at these, sometimes the pictures don't do them justice. And you just have to look at them for yourself, like, in person. But this right here, the Multicolor Vapormax 2s, very nice. Very nice. Like, man top-notch colorway in my opinion it was one of those ones where i knew like the first time i saw that like i'm getting those and now let's take a step forward skip over those for now and come on over to the 2019 so not a huge fan of the 2019 like the upper is a little weird in some ways but um because I, I guess i got so used to like the fly net thing that i just want that on more stuff and these aren't that Though they do offer a little bit of, again, because of the mesh, kind of help keep your feet from getting too wet if it's rainy. But overall, I'm just not a big fan. And the laces are a little weird on these, and that, like, you have to use wear them a lot and all that stuff to really break them in to where they actually stay tied. Uh, That's just a thing I've noticed. And I'm not the first person to say that. I've heard that from other people. But this color, though, this black and the screen green, I didn't see these in a lot of places. So, and honestly, I didn't know they even existed until I walked into a, uh, where did I get those? I know it was in Seoul, but I don't remember exactly where. It might have been the Itaewon shop also. No, that doesn't sound right though. But either way, I bought those the first time I saw them because I had never seen them. And that's one of my colors that I just, it's a go-to. And it's a Vapor Max. So, but you know what? We're doing the impulse buy thing today. Same with these, but these were on a pretty nice sale. These here, the Throwback Futures, which I didn't even realize they were part of that at first until somebody pointed it out in one of my videos, which got a lot of views for whatever reason. Nobody was looking at these, but people were sure as heck looking at that video. But yeah, so these, I really like that iridescent thing they got going on, right? It kind of reminds me of those Jordan 1, the Chameleons, the All-Stars, you know, from 20, what, 17 or something? But either way, like these these are actually pretty nice again i in some ways like they can only get away with doing that color on that shoe because of the materials and stuff but you know like i still prefer the fly nets right but in the, like with these uh, you can only get all those colors in there in that way on this because of the way the upper is with the stitching it just wouldn't play out you can get areas where it's just kind of flows through but like just having like the color blocking on here this is this is where you get that to happen so there's that it's kind of like a bordeaux style but it's moon moon particle and like pink glass i think is what they called it i don't remember exactly <clears throat> but these are pretty nice though i bought my mom a pair also that's what we took to comic con last year moving on moving on to the vapor max fly knit threes now these model wise are phenomenal right if you don't have a pair i highly suggest it this right here gun smoke and bolt 
right? So check that out. Really nice all around. I don't know what else to say about it. So I'll just move on to the next pair, which is right here. The multicolor pair. Give you a quick comparison. Multicolor threes, multicolor twos. You know, very different, but still kind of in the same vein, right? But these, I kind of, in some ways, I want to give the nod to these, though. I mean, they're definitely better as far as, you know, feel and all that stuff, but you can't, you're not going to really complain about either. It's just, like, sometimes, you know, one thing is just better for, like, you know, the performance side of things. But you got to ask yourself, like, how important is that to you? And if you were watching the video I did earlier today, what was that about? Some kind of Vans color, Vans shoe. These made a brief appearance. These right here, the South Beach Finet 3s, right? I haven't worn these yet because I forgot them at my mom's house. I, you know, it happens. I thought I had grabbed them and I did not. And I actually almost bought a new pair here just so I could have them now. But, you know, if I can be patient and wait months to like for a shoe to go on sale, I can wait weeks for to, you know, remind my mom to send me something. So these right here, the South Beach Flyknit 3s. And now, now, we'll move on to something new. Also, also new. These right here. These right here. This is a this is a tough one, right? To review and to recommend and all that stuff. Because when you see something that sparks an interest in your mind from your nostalgia days of your youth and whatnot, you want to like it a whole lot. You do. But these, when I got them, I was just like as happy as I am that these are a thing that exists, I am not super happy about the shoe itself because for one, the price is crazy. Like there is no reason to me for these to be 225, right? There just isn't. And then when you wear them, it's like, okay, this doesn't feel like $225 worth of shoe, like worth of comfort, worth of anything. So I just don't quite get it. But it's Nike, right? So like, just don't buy it and just give it a month or so and they'll be on sale. These were just like for 150 last week. So let's see, these came out January 30th. I remember, yeah, Jan the end of January, around the 30th, something like that. So it's been what, seven, maybe eight weeks? And they were on a pretty nice sale. So that's all you gotta do, just wait. Don't be like me sometimes. But the thing is, hey, I had a discount to use, so I didn't have to pay the full 220 but still. Also, uh, the sizing on these is a little little odd. I, I kind of mentioned that in the actual review. Long story short, I'm going to size going up half a size. Like, your actual true to size size is, might be okay, but just because of the way the front of the shoe is with like that the tip that's on there, uh, all right, so now we're getting on to one of my pride and joys, if you will, the Vapor Max Plus. Oh, I should have left those things out. But this right here, right? The Sunset or the Tiger or whatever you want to call these. It's that orange and yellow gradient style that you have seen on the Air Max Plus at least twice. Right? So there's that guy there. Moving right along. So this right here, which one is this? This is the, oh, the Megatrons, right? These right here. I think this was, this might be like my first popular review or something. So you have this going on right there. So not too bad, right? I like that purple and that aluminum color that they should, that they call it on all that stuff. Very nice, very nice. I know that I'm not giving you guys a lot of close up looks on these, but at least for the Vapor Maxes, like I have done reviews pretty much on every pair, I think. It's a little sketchy on some of those twos, because I'm not sure if I did reviews on all of them, but I I honestly think I did. And then here, if I was like Regency Purple or something, or as I call them, like the Skeletors, because they kind of remind me of Skeletor, right? Big Skeletor guy. Or a little He-Man in general. So these right here, very nice, very nice. Man, I'm, looks like I've been getting all kinds of messages right now. I haven't checked any of my messages and stuff since I started doing these videos tonight, like that Air Max 1 video, so however long ago that was, 
Yeah, it's not since then. Oh, shit, I need to take thumbnails. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I got boxes everywhere. I'm going to do like the wrestling unboxings I did like last month and just find one video or one picture and just do that and then just like change the label for each one. That, that could work. I'll figure it out later. This right here, the Bumblebees, right? Also another Transformers theme, at least what some people were saying. Now you could classify these under anything, but given that they came out at the same time as the Megatrons, it was just kind of the thing that made sense, right? So this, I remember doing a double review on these. Did I? I remember having them both in, both in hand. Maybe that's why that video got so many views, because people were probably there to see one or the other, not necessarily both, but I'm not sure which one had the real entry. And so this is the last one. So this must be that Rainboy pair because I haven't seen those come out just yet. And there we go. So this was my first favorite. No, those were. This was the second one. And I remember buying these because I thought that I wasn't going to be able to get them. But I thought I just put the order in because it's one of those like, oh, these are, everybody wanted these. And I was able to get them. They did sell out, I want to say, but not immediately. Anyways, they're kind of a nice little summer look, you know what I mean? And that's coming around soon, right? Yeah, it's coming around soon, so maybe I'll break these out then. But anyway, so there you have that. So, that's it, people. I have done it. I have talked about every Vapor Max in my collection. The only one that I did not talk about that I could have mentioned was very similar to this. I do have a, a just a straight-up black pair. I think they were called go smoke or something like that it was some kind of weird color they were, no they were called triple blacks which didn't make any sense because i remember like putting that in the title because that was what was on the box and all this stuff and i'm like if you want to call this a triple black nike fine and people were like i don't think this is a triple black and i'm like oh it's not by my standards but it is by theirs so anyways hopefully i will have put up a picture or something of that to let you know what i'm talking about so that is it Every Vapor Max, every Ultra, not Ultra Boost, every Air Max, every 720, not 270. I've done it. I've covered them all. And I am now done for the night. Ooh, man, 930. Jesus. All right, so that's it for me. Have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's not too late. The internet is still open. Go check out Sneaker Hearts. If you don't got time, you know what I'm saying? Go on over there, see what they're up to. Probably doing something awesome. And get involved if you can. Or maybe in your own little local area. Take what they're doing and do that where you live. You know? Why not, right? I mean, I get right now is maybe not the best time in some ways. But you know what I mean. So, that's going to be it. Seriously, though, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you watched every one of these videos, like, that's crazy. I, I mean, it takes a lot of time to make these things. So that when they're watched end to end, I... Appreciate that more than you'll ever know because recording this is one thing the editing the uploading the fine-tuning all like the putting in all the descriptions and putting the thumbnails together this is a this is a time-consuming venture let me tell you that all right so again but still whether you watch like two minutes or like all the minutes hey man I do appreciate every little bit so that's going to be it for me again. All right. See you later, people.